Hi, I'm Diana. And I'm LaVonda, and we're Homeschool Ethic. And so today we're going to be talking about the things that we hate about homeschooling. So while I do love the planning, I love the markers, the, the, the homeschool planted little things I use, I hate prep. I hate prep. I don't mm. like prep. I don't like, I don't like after prepping things. I don't like that. I want to open and go as much as possible. I don't like prep. That makes sense. Some days you don't, it's not in your, you're not in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a bad prep day, you know, oh. like if you didn't prep, then the day is so off. So it yes. just makes it bad. So you got to prep. Mm -hmm. I don't want the prep, but I want the good day. I had a homeschool mom that commented on a post that we put on Facebook and she, when I was asking about like what days people prep and she mentioned that she preps the day of, like the morning of, mm -hmm. and sometimes they don't have everything so she just kind of has to like push it to another day if they don't have everything that they need for that and I was just mm -hmm. like, my heart aches because every now and then that does happen yes. where I can't prep until that morning. I'm just like, oh no, I didn't realize we needed such and such. We don't have mm -hmm. blue, you know, blue coloring. We only have red and yellow and, <laughs> and green, you know, like we only have red and yellow, we don't have the blue. So it would just be something. So I, I, I empathize. Or with trying her. to find something that you know was just right here mm -hmm. and you wasted precious schooling time. Yeah. And with my son working now, I, all, every minute count. I can't be looking for this stupid item. I'm like, I just wasted so much time looking for this. Like, I can't. <laughs> I hate that part. I really do. Like, that yeah. bothers me. I wish that there was always just like a little prepping angel. Deep, deep, deep. Yes, this is true. So, you, prepping is not something you fall behind on 100%. Yeah. Um, so, my thing is flaky homeschoolers. <laughs> There's so many of us. And when I say us, I mean like, I'm not including myself, but I'm trying to make the people who are flaky feel a bit better about being flaky, but it, I hate it. I hate when people sign up for things and then don't come, mm -hmm. don't say anything. I hate when people ask for things to be done, especially if you're in a homeschool group setting. They say they're going to come to a field trip, but they don't show. They say they want to participate in something, but you don't hear from them. They say, you know, um, they or they come really, really late, really lackadaisical about it. like. No emergency, and they're always constantly like not ten minutes. Late. No, like We're talking to forty five minutes. Yeah, no explanation. No, just oh, sorry. No emergency. You know how it is. I don't actually. No, like, no, no. 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 You I didn't value call. people's time. <laughs> if I'm gonna be late like that, I'm gonna call you. Actually, if I'm gonna be ten minutes late, I'm gonna I'm gonna text you a call. Yeah, I'm gonna text. You know, like yeah. email something. You will have a communication from me saying, "Hey, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna be late." Because it does happen, but mm -hmm. I think homeschoolers are late people in general. Yeah, I don't, what that's about. I don't mind. I'm like 15 minutes. That's grace, right? A little after that, I'm like, okay, okay. We start talking a, a regular occurrence. 45 minutes late. 30, you don't. Know, I think five to 10 minutes is okay. 15 is grace. Yeah. Okay. After 15, we we're pushing it. And I need an explanation on the regular basis, <laughs> yeah. not like no. oh, it's happened before because we've all been there. We can't always. Unless you have a newborn, and then I will extend you a lot of grace. Oh, because absolutely. Blowouts are real. Or multiple um, toddlers. Oh, gosh, yeah. Or a baby and a toddler. Oh, yeah. yeah. I get that. Five under five. Um, your life is like, you got out of the house. Good job. Yeah. Like, you made it. You made it. That's, yeah, that's a difference. So please no. don't. We're not, we're not talking about you people. This is your kids can get themselves ready, and you're st this is a regular thing. You're on a mom's night out and it's just you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now I have been that person. Or you started without me? Absolutely we started without you. Absolutely. And we're almost done, actually. Why did you show? Show. <laughs> Why did you come? Can't even get my words out. Why? Why? <laughs> Thank you for coming. We are known as a flaky group of people. We are. As a homeschooler. We are. Well, and I hate that. Late. But just, yeah, well, yeah. that's. It. I, I, don't don't mind the, are I don't mind. I don't mind. Flaky bunch of people. Mm. So I don't know. Like, running the homeschool group here so far, do you feel like people are just as flaky as. I can't tell yet. Okay. It's too soon. Okay. No, it's too soon. Everyone who's who said that they would be at something. They were there. Okay. The ones who couldn't, they couldn't. Yeah. Right? So that's been really nice. And I was the only late person. I haven't had, no, it wasn't just you. Um, no. Oh. And so um, I don't mind the, the tardiness. It's 
the flakiness. Yeah. The tardiness, I can, like, oh, you know what? We're all just trying to make, sometimes your traffic is crazy in different spots. You just never know. Um, but having, Driving in the city here is a thing, and it's a thing that you just got to go early. Like, just be early. Having been a part of several homeschool groups and, like, in, in leadership roles in, in, other, in other homeschool groups, I've seen so many things where I'm just like, would you do, you wouldn't have done that if your kid was in school and you were an active parent participating. Know, like, Las would Vegas you, are would you have people. pulled the same stunt? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I hate flaky homeschoolers. Like they can't, you, they're not dependable. That's what it is. Like, hey, you said you would show up early and help decorate for such and such event. And they're like, hey, I'm so sorry. I don't 10 know, minutes before the event. <laughs> I called you. I this. I you know just so many things. Also, because I had no time to call you actually. Because I would do your job. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, I never had those people on my team. I actually only let people because it was too stressful. Like, oh, I'll be there. You know what? Okay, actually. <laughs> Responsible. Too many. Seats too many. Taken. You know. After I have too many people, it's just hard to even delegate at that point. Just uh, don't worry about. It. Just show up. You know. Yeah. And you're even late to that. Okay. <laughs> Proof that we can't depend on you. Yeah. Okay, so my next one is a weird one. But it, it is a it is a thing for me. <laughs> and I know this is gonna sound so whiny. But long bad weather days. Like when it's been bad weather for a long time, I just don't wanna school. I don't wanna mm. I don't want to do anything. It's so like particularly like if it's been like bad rain, like a lot of rain and, and, and the kids haven't been able to get outside to exert that energy that they really need to get out. And it's just been cloudy and gloomy and that affects my mood. And then so like the idea of going into a classroom and you know, or going into the kids and being like, yeah, I really want to do this. No, I really don't. I, I am in a funk too and you are all in a funk and I do not want to school you right now. And it's gloomy outside, it's been gloomy for two weeks. <laughs> you know, and, Coming from the West Coast, like I came, I was born in, in Southern California. It was, we didn't even know what bad weather was. Literally, y'all, I didn't even have a pair of pants until we moved to Las Vegas, where the winters are cold. Yeah, my my mom had to go buy me pants wow. to go to school. I had to miss a day of school because I had no long pair of pants. I only had shorts and skirts. And so then you come from Las Vegas, where it can be cold, but it's still very sunny. Mm -hmm. To moving here, Texas, where they say they have a lot of sun, but not compared to the West Coast, at least that part of the West Coast. And um, and just having these long, gloomy days, I really struggle with homeschooling those days. I, I really hate having to school during bad weather. And then, like, the freeze. Oh, yeah, no. But even, like, when we had power and stuff back on, I was just like, I'm recovering. I was <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I've done all these things to keep us afloat. While y'all been enjoying it, I'm trying to make it fun. There's a, it's a lot of energy yeah. that's been exerted trying to keep it lively. Uh -huh. Snow people, y'all probably thinking like, you're so weak. But and I, no, <laughs> I came from snow. I came from Michigan. That's where I grew up. That's where I was raised. Let me tell you, ain't nothing like being somewhere. Yes, ain't nothing <laughs> like being somewhere where they don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. So there's power allergies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't mind snow and ice. But no power? We yeah. got a whole situation. Yeah, it, it it does add to it, but also no sun for a long time. The no sun thing, yeah, that does affect your mood and your, yeah. 100%. I got a boost of vitamin D. It's, you know, there's Celsius being slammed down, like, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, so it's weird, but that's the thing for So me. yours is homeschooling on through bad weather. weather. Like, extended, not, not a bad weather not a day. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm okay. I'm talking about... Oh, when we've had a long spell like this last winter there were so many bad days i really yeah i was struggling to homeschool like i was struggling to get out of bed i was like do we really like can we just read or watch educational videos yeah we can with popcorn can we just do that yeah we can but like every day oh that is bad weather for like a week i don't know it depends on what the weather says <laughs> <laughs> when it sun comes back out i'm all there <laughs> That's right. We're doing video schooling today, kids. Yeah. Well, we'll have discussions. This is why I have co-op, guys, because I am irresponsible. I think that's great. I don't think that's irresponsible. Oh. You find other ways to, to you know, supplement what you're not able to do. Mm -hmm. 
and as long as there's an understanding the kids are like getting something from from what they're doing absolutely yeah y'all it's we're doing video school all day today we would love that we might do that this coming up because <laughs> you know what it sucks outside it's been raining for 20 days in a row yeah. day 20 and we've had enough and then it's freezing rain too and my trees are snapping <laughs> we haven't seen sun in weeks um yeah absolutely oh, video school you. and reading and we're gonna play board games absolutely also the internet's terrible because i'm on satellite oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah i forgot about that for you <laughs> yeah it's just all bad anyway what's your next so one so my next one is <laughs> constantly Ooh, excuse me Constantly feeling pressure to make sure our kids have an active social life while I don't. Um, and it's not necessarily that other people are putting that pressure on me. Um, it's me feeling the pressure. Like I hate that. I, I didn't feel like that the year that my daughter was in school. She had plenty of things she could do. I didn't have to drag her in. You know, she didn't have to drag me anywhere. I didn't take her all over the place. But now I'm just like, okay, I need to make sure you have this and this and you have this. So you don't feel like you're like you're missing out. Mm -hmm. And that pressure that I put on myself, and I know lots of homeschool moms um, or families that, that feel that same way. They don't always say it, but they're running all over town, taking their kids here, there, here, there, here, there, trying to make sure like they have these activities, right? And so it helps because sometimes you need to hear someone tell you this is enough. Yeah. Right? And our pastor's wife told me that. <laughs> she told us that actually. Um Just earlier this year. She's yeah, like last year. it was the end of No, it was this year. It was this year? It was, yeah, it was the end of our group for the the our spring mm. wrap up. So she was just like, one thing is enough, mm -hmm. right? I tell my kids, like, one thing. And they don't homeschool their kids. Oh, that's but, right, because you were thinking about, oh, she's going to have to give up. Yeah, I remember that. I was trying to figure out, like, what to keep, what to get. One thing's enough. Like, she's got this, and she's got, you know, she has social things that she does. But one extracurricular thing is plenty. And so, like, that was what, when she said that, I don't know what it was. And I just, I've been living in it. I've been living in it. LaVonda and her, her oldest child and her middle child have a bigger gap than mine do. So I'm always like, well, how did you fit more than one thing? But I get that right now. Yeah, because yeah. you have Miracle doing a lot of things. So that, that does make sense. Yeah. When my older ones were, we could, there was only physically, can we combine? Because you can't do yeah. Maybe one thing, maybe one thing. <laughs> like, yeah. there's all of you. I mean, right. how do we all do? Like, it's not your season. This is this is his season. Is this your passion? Okay, well, this is his season. There it is. This, this semester, next semester is yours, unless mm -hmm. we can combine. You know, I've had kids doing sports they didn't even like because right. that's what we could do. I don't know. Right. Like, um, they had to tell me that like I don't want this anymore. Like I know you don't want to do this anymore, but you're gonna finish this because we started it. Mm -hmm. Once you finish this, yeah, yeah, then. You, we can pull you out, but um, now you know I didn't get a social life until I became a homeschooler. I literally had no social life. So oh, I, it's it's such an opposite of what is so funny to me. Yeah, I think I don't have one right now because I don't really have. I'm still we're still focused on on like building community, mm -hmm. and so like we have that in in ways, but not consistent. I guess something about shut down. You know, everything shut down. The world going to poop. Right. <laughs> It's changed us all. Um, it did. It changed us. You know, we've been home more than we've ever been home. And sometimes that's good. But for us, we were already home. Finances, but, too, I think. Because, like, I was going out more. And then I've noticed since the since everything costs so much more, oh. whenever I get the opportunity, like, I, I get invited to things I'm just looking at, like, and how much will this cost me? That wasn't Absolutely. the thing before. No. Before it was I'm like, like, I'll be there. Yeah, what like, is it? Yep, yep, yep. New experience. Oh, that was $100. But that was fun. Yes. Now I'm like... Menu? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Fasting today. <laughs> like, it's good food and I won't just have water. I will not be showing up. So no, it's okay. absolutely not. Yeah. So even activities like things that we would normally try and get done and go every year, um, you know, mm -hmm. money is a big thing. It, it, costs, a big thing. it costs more to live. And so there's things that we have to be more mindful of. 
but I've been finding really good free things. That's off topic, but it's on topic all the time. It's on topic. All I'm gonna tell time. you after this. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, no, I actually agree with you on on that. I do think that right now it's just a really strange time, and I think that's dealing with our social aspect. Mm-hmm. I think you know I was actually talking uh, about this at the co-op. They are doing these moms' night out, and they're trying to do them at restaurants all the time. They're just not getting a lot of people coming. I was like, you guys, maybe we need to go back into the homes. Mm -hmm. Because frankly, when I see the restaurant you chose, and I see who's coming, I'm not willing to spend my 40 bucks. Sorry. I mean, like, I'm not being mean, but I'm saying, like, I, you know, but now, if I'm going to one of your houses, and all I got to do is bring a dish, I'm showing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, and I think we all don't realize that, no matter how much money you do or do not make, we are all feeling. I saw Nicki Minaj talk about this. I saw that too. So I was like, look at yeah. Nicki Minaj with all her money is saying this, guys. We need no, to. Oh, I saw it was Cardi B that I saw. She was like, she it was, was Cardi B. I was, don't know. Okay, yeah, she was saying, and I don't follow her. Here I am. I was like, it was a short. Did she get that accent. <laughs> It was a short, and it just popped up, and I was like, she's right. She's seeing people. She's hating what seeing what inflation is doing to yeah, the people was, around yeah. her. She's like, people are really suffering, and people are, and I thank God that we're not. You know, it's tighter for sure, right? but he's providing, and, and I'm grateful for that, and I have to remind myself, like, hey, there's some fun things we can do with our friends um, that don't involve you going out and spending $120 on dinner, Okay. And yeah. an activity. Which was just our lives just a few months was, ago. Like regularly. Like once a month at least. At least. You know what I'm saying? Like I know. No, we didn't ask how much things cost. We just went. It just, we just went. Fun. You know, and yeah. had a good time. And so like all those changes I think is affecting our social life as well. Yeah. And also and a lot of us are embarrassed and won't say it. Oh, I don't mind. I'm like, yeah, that's not in our budget this month. Oh, no, I don't say why. I just say I'm not coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> if we're close friends, not to people that we're not close. I don't think anybody that's not close has been invited. <laughs> Ooh. Lack of diversity. The lack of diversity in the homeschool arena. I do think a lot of homeschoolers of all different cultures do homeschool. I just think they just don't mingle and trying to create a real life world for my real life minority children is such a hard thing it in the homeschool community that's a really good one and it's like you know that's a, i don't know why i didn't think of that because that's think that's something i harp on like where are we <laughs> yeah where are we not going out anymore are we have we just stopped black people are we not homeschooling my hispanic brothers and sisters my asian but where are we all at I, can we all get together with everybody? We can all get together. Yeah. We're home. That's what that's what brings us together. This one thing, right? Our passion for our children yeah. and homeschooling. Yeah. Let's come it's together. We can for all that. agree on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I find that such a hard thing, like just to have that, and it's something that I really do hate about the homeschool community that that we just yeah. you know I don't even have like like even if you're like a person like you want diversity in your church and stuff like that you know places you can go like mm. oh it might be a hike but you know what they have diversity i don't even know where i can go and be like oh yeah you know if i go to this whole school group blah, 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 you know there's some diversity there we used to hike but we'll drive to their car no like we don't get that and yeah. so it's it's a thing it is yeah um one thing I'm, i know this is for those of you I mean, if, if you're a believer or not, but our one thing our pastor has been kind of harping on is just like things, it's like prayer in our church, which we all, we've always prayed. Um, but our church, when we first started coming after COVID and they opened back up, we were new to the area. We started visiting and just to, and kept coming. And the church, we, it was just like our our two families, we actually go to the same church. Uh, it sounds really weird the more we share. But um, if you've seen other videos, our lives are like this. <laughs> so, um, we love it though. We do. We do. I don't know if we'd make it if y'all weren't here. Um, so, I've been out a long time ago. Actually, you know, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't have came. Actually, yeah, no. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, is the fact that he prayed for a more diverse church and he had our like the saints were praying for that too because it was just our little families and maybe a few other people it was not a lot it, there were white people a couple black people 
few Mexicans. And now it's... Uh, it's getting there. It's, it's beautiful. White. It looks like heaven. Almost. Like an array of more, colors. Some more Asian... Uh, of people of Asian descent. Well, we got but, we got like the we got we got some Indians showing up. But yeah, we, need we do. The, we need. The, oh yeah, you're right. Like northern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian We've stuff. got it's it's looking like heaven more and more every Sunday, and um, I love that. But I'm my I'm gonna start praying that for our for the homeschool community. Like I, I did when you said that. Like, are you praying, asking God for it? I was like. I will ask him. Yeah, and I am. I am. Oh, nice. That. Like I'm praying that the God, that God will open up people's eyes to see if homeschooling is that option for them that they would start, and that we would come together, right? And so I know that there are. You're other people. there. Just come out to play. You are. Oh yeah. Come play. Come I've heard play. so many people say all the reasons why they don't. Well, we don't really. We need you. Come on. Our children need you. Yes. We need Your each other. Your children need our children. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Like, I think that's one of the things that make, I, y'all, first of all, it's one of the things that make America great, but it's also what makes us prettier. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, Americans are prettier than most countries because of our diversity. It's we have that kinds. mixture and you take it and shake it up and you don't just get Parmesan chicken, you get a little cilantro. A little are Parmesan. we the shake and bake of the countries? Yeah. Woo. You know? Shake and bake. Mm -hmm. America. I love it. You know, a little sign, you know? <laughs> so, a little sweet and sour. Like, oh, so. <laughs> yes. Come on out. <laughs> More. Yes, diversity, 100%. That's all I had. Did you have another one? Girl, yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. Nobody's ever asked me this question, so yes, uh, they were they were flowing out. Uh, no substitute teacher. Um, mm. Not that you you can you can sub with videos and stuff, but I have to be the person to find the video. I have to be the person to like put the video on as small as it sounds. Some days I want to call out sick, but I still want you to learn. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I just want to. That's a hard thing, like, that it's always 100% on you. Yes. Yeah. That's tough. I know that there are some curricula that allow that, um, you know, where they, you can take the it, video though. teaching mm -hmm. and that, so you can, they can still yeah. learn that way. And then those usually cost a bit more, too. Also, too, unless my kids are older, my kids still need me at some point. That's true. You know what I'm saying? It's not, there's not going to be a... Mama can check out completely. No. I don't, my kids won't even get up and start. I don't know about you guys, your kids. Maybe your kids will. Besides my second born. Sean, That's my first kid. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. My second born, he would, he would start. Yeah. He's a, he's a list checker. Yeah. He'd go and he, I'd be a, just waking up. He's like, hey mom, he's watching these videos in school and I'm like, I got that from his daddy, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but outside of that, my kids, they... They will shut their alarm off. They will let it just ring. I have one. The whole house could hear his alarm going off. And everybody's like, whose alarm is that? I'm like, it's Christian's. And he's just like, I mean, <laughs> out, out. And so, like, I have to be yeah, on. And frankly, I mean, that's kind of the truth of being a mom. I was going to say, that feels mom, like a mom yeah. thing. No days off. So maybe it's not a homeschool thing, but it's no like... days off. But I think we need to make sure, like, that's a thing that we do. Like, mom takes the day off. I think that's why we take I such leave. long holidays, too. Like, the Christmas breaks and stuff. Because I didn't plan a long Christmas break this year. I think it was an accident. What what was not a lot? Like what? How much? It's like two weeks. <gasps> I know. So we're gonna make that three. We gotta go play. We have we have plans. <laughs> so in previous years, I would do um, Thanksgiving through. We took off from Thanksgiving the week of That's Thanksgiving my favorite. until the beginning, and so that way we can have this. And we would homeschool, and you know, through the summer would take would take breaks when we need to, but it's been different because my daughter is. Um, last year she was in co-op, so it was like her schedule was kind of like tied to theirs. So a more they traditional. Need summer off, no, this is true, but um, also I did need that break from because I was still working. I needed to stop this past summer. Yeah. I was like, ooh, mm -mm, we mm -hmm. stopped. But this year I don't need to, and I planned our school year 
while in that time, right? And mm, so I'm like, that's right, you do it. Yeah, I need. So I think I do changing. really need to have the holiday off, and then we go through the summer. Not all summer, but we add it. We we take a break, you know, at the time that I have for us, and we just start. You know, we start after Fourth of July. We kick back, but very, you know, light in the summer. We're not doing heavy stuff, guys. It's just like, hey, let's make sure we do this. Let's focus on this. Let's focus on these unit studies. Let's, you know, focus on geography, whatever it is. Mm. And so, um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, um, I substitute. used to do that all the time, though, with the Thanksgiving week all the way till January. Yes. I, I, we have we do co-ops, so I, I don't do that now, but I have loved like this last summer where it was like I was like I I, I him and hawk the whole time like I don't want to do it this fast blah, blah, blah. but then summer came I was like actually I kind of like this like yeah three months taking the whole summer yeah yeah I mean we did little things because we had some things left over yeah. so we did little things here and there but for the most part it was just like whatever we had to, we had two months off. Yeah, which was nice. It felt nice. It was really nice. So I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to stick with that, with maybe just not math, because none of the kids seem to mind doing math. Like, they don't, it's fine, yeah. it's whatever. But I think we're going to do that. Well, uh, they'll do co-op work, but I'm going to be like, the rest of it? No, we're good. Yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to stick with it. I just need to feel, see what it feels like to not take that long break around the holiday. And then, and then kind of go from there. And if it, if I don't like what it feels at the end of the school year, then we'll go back to our year-round schooling because that's really what we did. Yeah, but you're only taking off two weeks. Yeah, I know. extra. Maybe three. Yeah. Depending on when Thanksgiving shows up. If it's late in the year, it's two additional weeks. If it's if it's early in the year, it's three extra weeks. That's true. Yeah. It'll just be two more. Yeah. And you can add that on any time in the summer you want. Right. I'm, I'm a bad ex I'm So we just start <laughs> next year. Or just... or dabble it in throughout the summer. Like it's mm. so I mean, to dabble in three weeks of school is nothing. It's not. That's true. Yeah. Ooh. I'm just saying I, I need to, uh, we need to go have fun. Oh. <laughs> oh I see. I see. I need to know what you're Shit. doing for Thanksgiving too, by the way. <laughs> She's not worried about my kids learning. We just, she's just trying to play. Oh, okay. I like to play too. Though. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, the, my last one is how the public views us as homeschoolers. I hate how the public views us oh, as homeschoolers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't like the stigma we have. No. When, yes, are there some odd, like, you know, textbook? Weird. It's kind of like being black, you know what I'm saying? Like being black this time is okay, but like back when when I was a kid, being black meant like, oh, you might be a criminal, you know. And so like, <laughs> it was in like some the, places people still feel like that. So right, but as a right now, it's it's, it's cool, right? It's, it's a hip thing, it's right? Hip to be black, it's hip to be black. But like when I was growing up, it wasn't hip, and so it was like trying to fight the stigma all this all the time. Yeah. Well, I don't have to fight it as a black woman too much anymore, but now I gotta fight it as a homeschooler. Like I feel like I. I always got to prove myself and my children when my kids are no smarter or less smarter than your kids who are public school. Right. They're the same. You know why? Because we're Americans. You know what? We don't like to do work too hard. Mm. That's how like, Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> and that's across the board. Oh, so, gosh. like, you know, like, stop judging me. Yeah, I think that that weird homeschooler stigma. Mm -hmm. We're not all weird. We're not. And that weird homeschooler stigma exists in public school, too. Absolutely. Like, you have any weird kids go to public school, but nobody says anything about it. It's acceptable yeah. because they're social. Right. Weird, but yeah. still weird. 